this is a sad news and at the same time it is annoying welcome back to ninjas lovers a lady plunged into lagos lagoon and she's been identified as a dss staff so according to the news by channel television the lady who jumped into the lagos lagoon on thursday afternoon has been identified as ade tutu ade dokun a staff of the department of state service dss Sources in the office reveal that she is an unarmed combat instructor who stepped into the shoes of her parents who worked with the plain clothes service. Just a few months ago, Ade Dokun, who was in her late 30s, received a letter of, of commendation from the Director General of DSS as the best unarmed combat operative in the set. The victim's fiancé also reported to have proposed to her a few weeks ago. She, um, she had alighted from, uh, from an Uber taxi on the bridge and plunged into the Lagos Lagoon on Thursday afternoon. The driver of the taxi claimed she was having a heated conversation with her fiancé before alighting from the taxi and plunging to her death. But... All right, we have more updates on this, but before we go into the update and whatnot, one thing I want to say, now we have just the story from the taxi driver. How are we sure the taxi driver didn't do something? Are there more eyewitnesses? I saw her when she went off the Lagos um, bridge, when she went off the Lagos bridge. That's another question that we need to ask and keep open minds up. Uh, and also another thing we need to state or make clear is, did she leave her things in the taxi, like her phone, her bag? Because maybe she's coming from work or from home, she's going somewhere. So as a lady, I'm expecting she should be having at least a handbag or uh, a purse, something with a phone, identification and stuff like that. Did she leave them in the car or did she plunge to her death with it? That's another thing. And um, okay, that being said, let's dive right in and get the update of if she's been found or not. So as at this time, this is the update we're getting. It says the LRT men of Lagos State Fire and Rescue Service, officials of the Department of State Service, DSS, uh, collaborated together with search of, uh, in search of the victim. The agency's marine team, the divers and official of Lagos State Waterway Authority, last one, conducted search and rescue operation. After thorough search by the last one officials and the agency marine team divers, the victim could not be found due to the high tide of the water. Hence, search and rescue operation was suspended temporarily till the body resurfaced. Now, this is what we're getting because when it was reported that someone plunged into, even before her name and identity was revealed, they had already sent people out, you know, uh, to go search for her. But now we're hearing that she could not be found. Uh, if you know anything about the Lagos, if you've not even been to Lagos, you can search and see photos and you can see how rough the water is. So it's not even one that will be easy to recover a body. So I guess at this point, they will have to wait up until she will float in about, let's say, three days or, or so. Uh, she will float and then her body will be recovered. And it will not be in this area where she plunged from. It might be a few uh, uh, down the river or so. But um, something I want to say, it, it was also revealed that she was having an argument. Now, that's what the taxi driver is saying. And that's, where, that's why in the beginning, if you were following the story, I said it is annoying. It is a sad story and it is annoying. We've seen this occur so many times. At what point do people have to understand that you are going to break the heart of your parents, your siblings, people that love you just because of a man? It is not necessary. Ladies, stop doing that.